Okay, so welcome back. Let's uh, do some crafting with cannon here. Or see what we can do anyway. Health goods, we need a sandal bird. Which I don't think we can buy. Okay. What do we need to craft one? Uh, can we make the lip cream? The lip cream we can, so let's make that. Um, why is this lip cream so purple? Wow, it might look like lip cream at a glance. It's ripple cream, something entirely different. Oh, I see. It's shaped just like lip cream too, so I was about to make a mistake and use it. There's no harm in using it on the human body. There aren't any harmful substances in it. Mm, I'm curious to what it does then. To explain it simply, ripple refers to waves, like in water. Just keep in mind that applying it induces weak wave oscillation. This cream is pretty amazing if it can do something like that. But if you apply this to your mouth, it also has the effect of making waves in a conversation. What? It has an effect like that? Yes, even though there are no physical effects, it shouldn't warrant that much surprise. It won't harm the body, but it could destroy people's relations. That sounds harmful to me. You're strangely oblivious when it comes to things like that, Cannon. You're kind of an idiot that way. Ionasal, what did you just... Wait, did you put that on? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. You said it wasn't harmful, so I thought I'd just give it a try. I'm sorry for believing your sorry excuse for an explanation. What are you saying? Isn't it your fault for not listening to my explanation to the end? Uh, You should have just said not to use it on the body. You're right, this was clearly due to my own mistake. Yanisal, I apologize. I'm sure it's difficult. But please endure this until the cream's effect wears off. I got it, although it's not like your useless apology is going to help it wear off any quicker. Uh, that wasn't me. I'd never say things like that. It should include a warning label not to use this on the human body. <laughs> That's... yes. Probably a good idea. Let's make this high-class cathode. Cannon, what is this? There is amazing gems on here. <laughs> These aren't merely gems. Look at this part. Did you notice it's made of gold? You made it with gold and so many gems? Wait, is this even something you'd use as a synthesis recipe to make? Of course, why would you even ask? Because it's not like simply putting some gems on a gold sheet would... Huh? No way, no, but that would... But you normally wouldn't make that out of materials like this. It seems you've realized what it is. I, I can't really believe this, but I'll ask anyway. Is this a cathode? Exactly. I'm glad you figured it out. I carefully selected high purity gemstones and gold to create this cathode. I call it a celebrity device. This extremely high class cathode has a high performance and can only be obtained here. It would be a big problem if other shops sold cathodes like this. You're using so many gems, it kind of feels like a waste. That's true, I realize that this is a fairly atypical use of gemstones. However, it's not like I use the gems and gold without a good reason. Does it increase in performance? Yes, I attach them because they raise performance. You know the reason, right, Ionisel? Um, first off, gold is used to increase conductivity. Also, you said that you use very high purity gems, right? Yes. They are first-class items that would be difficult to obtain, even from a jewelry store. Then that means they would vibrate with more accuracy than normally used materials. Correct. You figured everything out, just as I expected. Is something wrong? I intended that to be a compliment. After seeing something so amazing with so many meanings, I feel so confused that I can't even be happy. Uh, okay. 
Let's make a sandal bur Oh, so we need a chun piece. Okay. Let's make two chun pieces. And then we'll make the sandal bird. And then now we can make... I don't think there's anything else here, is there? No. Now we can make the health goods. Those don't look comfortable. These look really sharp. Yes, I made them the perfect thickness to stimulate the feet. So that means these are... Health sandals, maybe? I'm not sure what else you could... what they could possibly appear to be. They do look like health sandals at first glance, but they look scary so I didn't want to admit it. The effect of these is quite amazing, you know. Simply walking while wearing these can draw out your inner potential. Draw out inner potential? I suppose it would be more correct to say that they help draw it out. By repeatedly fighting in combat, you feel as though you've grown stronger, right? These sandals of happiness simply help with that growth. So we gain experience points just by walking by? Oh, that's a good way to put it. Experience points? I'm not exactly sure what you mean. Regardless, it's true that wearing these allows you to train yourself to become even stronger than you are now. But it seems like wearing them would be so painful that we'd just take damage. Hmm, I understand. In that case, I'll wear them myself to alleviate your worry. What? What? No, you shouldn't. You'll hurt your feet, Cannon. There's no need to worry. I'm living a very healthy life, so I'm sure health sandals wouldn't hurt me. Also, if you can just endure the pain of putting them on, the rest should be... Cannon? Um, are you okay? Are you trying to say something to me? Uh, your your shoulder. Quickly, lend me your shoulder. Uh, oh, all right. Hold on. Uh, ha! These these sandals are far more painful than I realized. It was as though the soles of my feet were being gouged out with spoons. I thought they would be that would be painful, but were they really that painful? I'm glad I didn't try them on. However, while it may only be a little bit, I feel as though there was an effect. If you're ever in a situation where you need to grow stronger, even just a little faster, these are a good bet. Uh huh. Okay then. Okay, so I think we've crafted everything here. So let's see if we get another recipe from Kenan. Oh, nothing? Really? That's it? Sandals of happiness. Let's buy a couple. Um, some ripple cream as well. Just don't really want to run out of any items. But it would appear as though our crafting marathon is now over. Let me just double check to make sure we have no synthesis left here. Nope, looks like we've got everything. Good, good stuff, so we'll have to come back at a later date. Okay. So that took a little while. But that's alright. Um, so now I guess we need to go talk to Sarley. Looks like Sarley's really concentrating. What what are you doing? I know where Nella went, the singing hill. What? The singing hill? No way, how did you know that? Interdemon? Of course. That must mean you listened in on Nello's conversation. 
If that's true, then there's no chance you're wrong. Can we get to the Singing Hill by taking the space bus? I'm not sure where the Singing Hill is in relation to the colony ship. I'll look into it. If you figure anything out, then let me know. You too, Earthus. We need your help. Okay, got it. Also, I'm sorry about earlier. I lost my composure. Don't worry about it. Let's figure this out for the world and for Mr. Liam. Okay. Location information. Do you know anything? Um, I think there was a navigation map. I'm just making this up. I don't remember. A navigation map? Where? Could you take me there? Uh. So in the residential district. Okay. Uh, let's just check the shop here while we're here anyway. Cause sometimes they add new items. Nothing. Okay. So let's go to the residential district now. We still can't use Delta and Casty. We haven't un or re unlocked them with Interdimend, I guess. Grab a quick save. It's been quite a while since I've saved, so to be on the safe side. All right. Oh, a fight here. Really good. 
There's a boss wave coming up soon as well. The thing is too though, because we're using this particular song magic, we can actually get a little bit more extra burst charge once we activate the song, so we also need to be or I guess it's really matter because normally I just wait until the burst gauge to defeat every wave anyway. But yeah, it's definitely casting more often, and I'm wondering if it's because I put in that particular cathode. Who knows? This looks really good. Here we're just probably going to just more, activate more. or use our snap ability here. Because it gives me, I think, the most percentage increases, so... Look at that, it's just basically jumping up ahead. So I think we are going to be able to fight, well maybe not fight the boss wave, we'll see. We need to increase one more here, so I'll just use a couple snaps. There we go, activate time. At least now we can explore this residential area in peace. See if we can find the navigational data. Okay. Here it is. There's a terminal here. This actually does look a bit like a star map, but it doesn't show anything besides the Sorail. Is this really a navigation map? Mm, Delta said it was. Mm, I would have thought Sarley would already know about this map though. We should ask her about it. Really? Really? Oh, okay, we went back, good. Oh, the terminal in the residential district? I took a look at it before. Really? But, I think it's broken. It doesn't show anything. Oh, is there a way to fix it? I think so, but it would be really difficult without administrative privileges. Everything would end before I could hack the administrative code. Uh, what about the ES45 cathode type? That's right, that should work. Earthus, you're a genius. Earthus has an ES45 port. It could work on the terminal. Really? That's great, Earthus! Yes, yes it is. Let's go. So Starly's in our party now. And we're back. Let's get started right away.
did anything show up? Uh, maintenance mode. Well, X... ETR Centel Roo. Alright, it's switched to maintenance mode. I can start looking for the problem now. Might take a little while. Probably only a few minutes though. Earthis is pretty handy. By the way, what's the singing hell? It's a, f it's a facility that used to exist on the planet Rasiella. I sang there. It also served as a temporary shelter during the collapse of the planet. Now that the planet's gone, the Singing Hill should still be floating around somewhere in space. Ah, looks like your analysis is done. Hmm, looks like there is no issues with the hardware itself. Is there anything you can do? Not at the moment. Wait, what? The program's been rewritten. What? What happened to it? It's been modified to display completely different coordinates from where we currently are. Who would do that? Well, sounds like the work of Jill or Nello. Anyway, if I can recompile the program... It's done. Let's restart it. Yes, it's, display it's displaying the stars around us. Our current location is... Is what? What? The ship hasn't moved from Rasiella's old location at all. What? Well... Now we know our coordinates. We know where the Singing Hill is, so we can calculate a path there. Okay. That should do it. If we punch these coordinates into a space bus, it should take us to the Singing Hill. Before we go, shouldn't we tell Nay and the others? You're right, but if we never actually moved, that means... The ship hasn't moved at all! Yes, it's a little hard to believe. But we still need to get to the singing hill and stop Nello. Right, just be careful. I never thought Prim and Nello would be there though. I'm sure Delta would insist on going if he heard. That reminds me, where are Delta and Cass? At the Flask Sea, helping the Prime Minister deal with the maternal overseer. I'll tell them about this myself, so hurry up and go. This is really important, right? I'll make preparations just in case something goes wrong. Good, thanks. Come on, Iana Cell. Let's head for the airport. Hmm. Well, that's a bit of a turn of events, since they all thought that they were basically looking for another planet, and meanwhile they haven't even moved at all from their original location. Um, so with that, we'll take a break, and next time we'll probably head on over to the airport and see what awaits us there. Thanks for watching.